Hi, my name's Keith Cooper and in this short video I'm just going to look at a question I've been asked a few times given some macro lenses I reviewed recently is what difference does the focal length of the macro lens make for use? Why should you choose one focal length over another? Now I've covered a little bit to this in the reviews but the example I've got here, and I'll show some examples and hopefully try and show it in the video as well so you can get a feel for it. Um, I'm looking at two lower fully manual macro lenses. This one's a 90mm f2.8. This one's a 58mm f2.8. Now superficially, if I put them next to each other, the 90mm is two or three millimetres longer. And that is the only significant difference you'll notice in looking at them. Similar weight, everything else. What differences do you get between them? Well, the most obvious difference is that if I put the 90 mil, as an RFI, this goes to two times magnification, but let's just look for say one times magnification. At one times magnification with this lens, the subject is about that far away. One times magnification with this lens, it's closer. So there's a shorter distance. At two times magnification, this one's about this far, the 90 mil is about that far. What does that actually mean? Well, it's easier to use the 90 if you're lighting a subject. Uh, so if you want um, to get your lighting sorted out uh, and you're using sort of artificial lighting, uh, the front of the lens gets in the way far less with the 90 than it does with the 58. Now that's the obvious difference in it. What about the image differences? Well, I've got a little setup here. There's just stuff sitting on the table here. And this is a 25 pin connector. Now I photograph a lot of electronic components. So I have a lot of stuff like this laying about and it's just convenient for showing of it. But first of all, I'll show an example. And this is using the uh, 24 millimeter lens, which is an adapted old Olympus lens, uh, which I'm using on the RP at the moment. Now in that it's about this far away. I have focused as close as I can and uh, focusing on that I'll now just run through. So I've got looking at that and I'm just going to take the focus back and look at some of the background. And notice there is a little bit of change of scale. You get a bit of focus breathing. Um, this is not a fo close focus lens. So I'm not really looking at using it as a macro. This is just to give you a feel for the actual scene itself. Now, as I say, that's not a macro. Let's have a look at a similar scene for the 58 millimeter lens. Now I've set this up. I'm doing it at one times magnification. And I'm going to, uh, it's, it's an f2.8, f4, something like that. It needs to be fairly small aperture, a fairly wide aperture uh, to sh make use of the light that's here without lighting the subject especially. And I'm just going to move it back, change the focus back, look at the background, look at the scale of the background. That's the key thing to notice. As I change the focus, look at the scale of the background. Now I'm going to switch over to the 90 millimeter lens. Um, I've got the subject about the same size and I'm just one times magnification again. You don't see much difference in the background because it's obviously out of focus. And there is one of the differences. If you're using it at one time and the background's out of focus, there's no real difference. But anyway, let's just drop back in focus to look at the background. And you'll see that as we focus back, you see a narrower field of view. Now, the two lenses here, when used as macro lenses like this, it's only when we focus further in the background that we actually see any significant difference for it. At close up work, they're very similar. So there's not much. If you look very carefully, there are slight differences in a subject like this, which has depth, which show a slight difference between the 58 and the 90 not much. The main difference is if you're actually just going to you know, use them as normal lenses. And remember, this is no different from you'd expect from a normal lens. Now, I'm going to do one final setup here, which I'm going to move the camera back a bit so that we're, we're, we're close focus, but not macro. And I'm going to show both together. Now, if I can uh, get the video to work to show this, and this is a, a new bit of video editing for me, um, what I'll do is 
look at the uh, connector and then I'll focus back. Now they're not, they're not moved exactly the same, but hopefully you see the difference, quite a difference in the field of view. They really are not much difference other than when you think of them as normal lenses. So that's it for macro. Two things to remember if you're wondering about focal length for your macro. Longer focal length for the macro lens gives you a greater working distance, which may be easier with some subjects. But it also changes the perspective and field of view if you've got any background in it. So remember, both these lenses are perfectly good quality manual lenses. If I want a 58 or 60 millimeter lens or a 90 millimeter lens, um, that's what they do. Now, for me, the 90 is a little bit more useful, but yeah, it depends on what you're doing. Um, if you were using it on a crop sensor, the 58 mil would give you a field of view very similar to the 90. So it's about deciding how you went about the amount of space you've got, the kind of things you're taking photographs of, and how much importance the background is. Now, I hope that's of some use and it makes some sense. Please do ask questions if you've got any. I uh, do welcome them because they often give me ideas for little things like this, little short videos. And uh, thanks for watching and um, please do subscribe to the channel if you're not. It is appreciated. Thank you.